हेलो बच्चों कैसे हो आपका स्वागत है त्रिपान स्टडी सेंटर में आज जो हम करने जा रहे हैं क्लास टेंथ एन बोर्ड का जो है सोशल साइंस यानी सामाजिक विज्ञान जो चैप्टर आज करेंगे फिफ्टीन काफ़ी महत्वपूर्ण है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वैल्यू एंड पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम इन इंडिया यानी देखा जाए तो सर्वधानिक मूल्य तथा भारत की राजनीतिक व्यवस्था काफ़ी महत्वपूर्ण चैप्टर यहाँ पर है इसके बारे में हम विस्तार पर चर्चा करेंगे ये टॉपिक और चैप्टर कई मानने में हर एक क्लास के बच्चों के लिए महत्वपूर्ण रहेगा चाहे वो सी में पढ़ते हों चाहे एन बोर्ड के बच्चे हों चाहे यू बोर्ड के बच्चे हों चाहे बिहार बोर्ड के बच्चे हों इवन की जो कंपटीशन तैयारी कर रहे हैं उनके लिए भी ये चैप्टर काफ़ी महत्वपूर्ण रहने वाला है लेकिन आपको पता है चैप्टर स्टार्ट करने से पहले एक बात जो मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ जिसको आपको सोचना भी चाहिए विचार भी करना चाहिए और इवन अमल भी करना चाहिए वो ये है कि जब भी वीडियो देखिए पूरा देखिए क्योंकि अधूरा जानकारी सदैव खतरनाक होता है साथ में एक इंपॉर्टेंट बात ये भी रहता है अगर आप पहली बार वीडियो देख रहे हो तो लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलना क्योंकि तो दोस्तों लाइक कीजिएगा तो बनाने वाले का मनोबल बढ़ता है सब्सक्राइब कीजिएगा तो इससे ये होता है कि जब भी मैं कोई वीडियो डालूंगा उसका नोटिफिकेशन आपको समय रहते मिल जाएगा और देखिए शेयर का मतलब ये होता है कि आपके थ्रू ना जाने किन बच्चों को हेल्प मिल जाए ये आप भी नहीं जानोगे इसलिए जो है आप शेयर जरूर करो ठीक है व्हाट्सएप स्टेटस पे भी लगाओ दोस्तों से सेंटर जो कई मानने में बहुत से बच्चों के लिए हेल्पफुल है चाहे वो एट्थ क्लास हो नाइन्थ टेंथ इलेवन ट्वेल्थ हो चाहे वो एन बोर्ड के बच्चे हो ठीक है चाहे बीए एमए के बच्चे हो सभी क्लासों के लिए कुछ ना कुछ जो है त्रिपाण से सेंटर में उपलब्ध है तो इसलिए आपके लिए जरूरी है कि आप सब्सक्राइब करके इसको चैनल को जो है सेव कर लो नहीं तो बाद में अगर रिसर्च करोगे तो शायद आपको ये चैनल प्राप्त ना हो तो इसलिए सोचना नहीं विचार नहीं करना है सब्सक्राइब करके जो है अपने पास सेव करना है दोस्तों ये तो बात था आप के लिए लेकिन आप देखते हैं हमारा आज टॉपिक क्या है अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एयर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वैल्यू व्हाट यू मीन हेयर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वैल्यू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ एनी कंट्री सर्व अ सर्वल पर्पस इट्स अ लेयर डाउन टू द कंटेंट ऑफ द आइडल्स दैट फॉर्म द बेसिस ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ कंट्री दैट वी एज अ सिटीजंस एस्पायर टू बिलीव इन अ कंट्री इज यूजुअली मेड अप टू डिफरेंट कम्युनिटीज ऑफ पीपल Who share a content of belief, but may not be necessarily agree on all issue. A constitution helps serve as a set of the principle, rules, and procedures on which there is a consensus, and this form a basis according to which their people want to continue to be a governed and the societies move on. Is important. and this include not only on agreement of the types of government but also on the con contents ideal that is a country should be uphold the indian constitution has contained core of constitutional value the constitution it is spirit and expressed is a various articles and provision there is important there is a various article and provisions but you know that is the mean of the word value You may be able to immediately say that true non-violence, peace, and cooperation, honesty, respect, and kindness as a value, and you may be continue to be account may be such a value. In fact, in a layman's as understanding, values that is is very essential of the world having is absorbing for extension of human society as entity. The Indian constitutions contain all such a value. The value that are the universal, human, and democratic of the modern age. The first point here: constitutional value and preamble of the constitution. That is important. Have you read the preamble of the Indian constitutions printed in the beginning of this of materials? As has been the start above, the constitutional value are the reflected in the entire constitution of India. But is the preamble is embodies. There are fundamental value and philosophy on which their constitution as a is a base. The preamble to any constitution is a very introductory statement that conveys there is a guideline, thing or principle of the document. The preamble to be Indian constitution also does so. The value expressed in there is a preamble are expressed as objective of the constitution, and these are. Sarugamti, socialism, secularism, democracy, republicanism, character of India, state or judiciaries, and the liberties, equality, fundamentalism, human dignity, and the unity of integrated of the nation. Let us discuss 
this constitution value there is a most important constitution value here is a sovereignty socialism secularism democracy republicans and there is a most important the indian state is a justice liberty equality and fraternity in human dignity and the unity of integrated of nation this is important here let us here discuss first of all here the sovereignty sovereignty is the most important you may be have read the preamble it is declared india as a sovereignty socialist secular democratic republic began as sovereignty is mean have a complete political freedom and began to supreme authority there is a most important sovereignty here sovereignty is mean to have a complete political freedom and began to the supreme authority it is a impel that is india is internal all powerful and externally is free it is a free to determine for itself without any external interference either by uh, any country or individual and nobody is there is within due to challenge its authority this feature of sovereignty give us their uh, dignity of extensive as a nation in the international community so there is a constitution does not to be specific where is the sovereignty is authorities lies what i mentioned of we the people of india in the preamble clearly indicate that a sovereignty is rest with the people of india this mean that is a constitutional authorities and organs of government derive their power only from the people and the next year socialism the socialism you may be aware that a social economical equalities has been to inherit in their indian traditional society which is why so socialism has been to made a constitution value aim at the promoting social change and transformation to be in all from the inequalities our constitution directs the government and their people to be ensure a planet a coordinate social development in all field it is direct to be prevent our constitutional of the wealth and power in a few hand the constitution has a specific provision that deal with the inequality in the chapter of fundamental right and directive principle of state policy there is a most important some important point in this book the following provision under root the directive principle of state policy promote the value of socialism you know that there is important the 38 two articles here the state shall be a particular step to the minimize their inequality in incomes and the end where there is a eliminate inequalities is stay status facilities and opportunities not only amongst individual but also amongst the groups of people residing in a different area and engage in a different vocations there is an articles is a 38 two is important An article is a thirty-nine. There is important the state shall be a particular direct is a policy to what do scavings of first year that there is citizen man and woman equal have to right to be adequate is mean to be live hoods and be that is the ownership and control of the material resource of the community are so distributed as a best to the serve the common good and see here. that the operation of the economical system does not be result in the concentrations of the wealth and mean of production to be common to mind that there is a equal play for equal work for both men and women there is a most important article 39 here there is the both equal man and woman the next year secularism secularism is the most important here we all there is a place event to the anyone Say that India is a home to be almost all major religions in the world. There is the most important board here, but today is no understanding to the political party. There is an important home to the almost all major religions in the world. In the context of the priorities, mean a more than one too many. Secularism is seen as a great constitutional value, and secularism implies that our country is not a. guided by any one religious or one religious considerations however the india state is not against a religions this is the most important it allows all the it is citizen to the fair fees preach and precise any of religious but them follow 
if the some time it is sure that this state does not we have any religious of its own constitution strictly there is a have it any of discrimination is on the a ground of religions this is an important point but today is a political party no understand in this word religion so religion is a understand all political party that india is a very important for us next point here democracy the democracy that important the probable reflect democracy as a value as a form of the government it is a drive it is the authority from the will be of their people authority from their will of the people the people elect the ruler of the or the country has elected to the representative remind is a con accountable to be a people there is a democracy mean here there is a rules the country and elected to representative remind is a uncountable to the people the people of india elect them to be a part of the government as a different level by a system of universal adult franchise and popular is known as one of man one vote one man one vote system democracy contribute to the stability continues the progress in their societies and it is a scared to peacefully political change it's a law or dissent and encourage tolerance and there is the more importantly it is a based on the principle of rule of law in all the above right of citizen independent of judiciary is a free and fair election and freedom of the press this is the most important democracy is the mean here the next point here republic india is not only a democratic nation but it is also a republic the most important symbol of begin a republic is the office of the head of the state the president who is elected and who is not elected on the basis of the heredity as is a found in a system with a branchy and this value strength and substantiality is a democracy where every every citizen of india is equal eligible to be a select as their head of the state political equality is the chief message of this provision there is republics mean a chief message of provision here the next year justice at the time you may be also realize that the living is a democracy system along does not mean sure of justice to be citizen in all its totality even now we have find a number of cases where not only there is social economical justice but also the political justice is denied which is why the constitution makers have included a social economical and political justice as a constitutional value by doing so they have stressed that is a political freedom granted to indian citizens has to be instrumentals in the creation of a new social order the base on social economical justice and just justice must be available to be every citizen this ideal of a just and egalitarian on societies are remind as one of the for most value of the indian constitution and the next year liberty liberty is remember describes the liberty is a thought expressions and belief faith and the worship one of the core value this have to be assured to be every member of all the communities it has been done so because is ideal of democracy cannot be attain it without their presence of content as a minimal right which are stated for a free and civilized extensive of individual there is a most important here liberties and the next here equality equality is also important here equality is the significance constitutional value as any other the constitutional ensure equality of status and opportunity to be every citizen for their development of the best in his herd as a human beings everybody has a designed fight self and ensure it is a full enjoyment in equality in any form of present in our country and society has been a prohibited and equality is reflected spe- specifically in the preamble is therefore held as a important value there is a most important point here equality
the next year fraternity there is also a com commitment is made in the premeble of promote there is a value of fraternity that stands for the spirit of common brotherhood among all the people of india there is a most important point here the stand for the spirit of a common brotherhood among the all people of india but today the indian politicals here divided for the brotherhood's rule in the sense of fraternity a plural society like a indian stand divided therefore to be give a means to be all the idol like a justice liberties and equality the permeable lay of great imposes on the fraternity in fact fraternity can be realized not only by the abolishing untouchability amongst the different sect of the community but also by abolishing all the communal and segregations or even local discriminatory feeling which is stand in the way of unity of india this is important point here and the next year dignity of individual there is an important point here dignity of individual promotions of fraternity is strictly of realize their dignity of the individual it is strictly to be ensure there is dignity of every individual without which a democracy cannot be function there is a democracy cannot be function it is ensure equal participations of every individual in all the process of the democratic governance there is an important dignity of the individual here the next point here unity and integrated of the nation as we have seen above fraternity also is a promote one of the critical value unity and integrated of the nation to be maintain their independence of the country intact the unity and integrated of the nation is very initially therefore the st stress has been given on fostering unities amongst all the inhabitant of the country our constitution expect from all the citizen of india to be uphold and protect the unity and integrated of indian as a matter of duty that is important the next point here international peace and a ju just a international order the value of international peace and just international order though not included in their permeable is the reflect in other provision of constitution the indian constitution directly to the state to promote to international peace of security and be here maintain just and there are honorable relation between the nation there is a point is important maintain just and honorable relation between the nation and next year foster respect their international law and their treaty the obligations and be here encourage the settlement of international debts by their arbitrations the hold and the absorb this value is the interest of india the peace and just international order will be definitely contribute to the development of india there is a most important point here international peace and a just international order and the next year fundamental duties our constitution our prescribe some duty to be performed by the citizens it is true that these duties are not a inferable in the court of law like the fundamental right or but this duty are to be performed by their citizens fundamental duties have still great important because this reflect contain a basic value like a federalism nationalism humanism environmentalism and humanism leaving to gender equality scientific temper and inquiries and individual and collective excellences the most important fundamental right here federalism nationalism humanism environmentalism humanism leaving gender equality scientific temper and inquiries and individual is a collective excellence there is the most important here fundamental duties here the next point is the most important here value and the silent feature of the constitution value and the silent feature of the constitution here the discussion on the permeable embodies constitutional value clearly demonstrates 
that these are important for the successfully functioning of Indian democracy. Your understanding of this value will be a further reinforced and when you will be find in their following discussion that a constitutional value and the permit all the silent feature of the Indian constitution. The main feature of the constitution as shown in their iterations as a following. There is a first year that is important. The first year written constitution. As has been started earlier, the constitution of India is a longest written constitution. There is an Indian constitution here, longest written constitution. It is a contain a of 395 articles. 395 articles in a 22 parts, 12 schedules and 5 appendix. There is the most important. 395 articles, 22 parts and 12 schedules and 5 appendix. It is a do document of fundamental law that is defined the nature of the political system and the structures and functioning of organs of the government. It is a space the vision of India as a democratic nation. It displays the vision of India as a democratic nation. It is also identified the fundamental right and fundamental duties of citizens. Well doing, so it is also reflect core constitution value. There is the most important here, a written constitution. Second point here, a unique blend of dignity and flexibility. There is the most important point here. A unique blended of dignity and flexibility here. You know, but day to day life, we find that it is not easy to the wearing about a change in the written document. As regards, constitution generally written to constitution are regarded, it is not easy to bearing about the change in them frequently. The constitution law down to special procedure for their constitution is amendment. It is an unwritten constitution like the British constitution. Amendments are made through the ordinary law making procedure. The British constitution is a flexible constitution. In the written constitution like the USA constitution, it is a very difficult to make a amendment. That is important here. The USA constitution is a very difficult to make a amendment. The USA constitution therefore a graded constitution. However, the Indian constitution is neither as flexible as the British constitution nor a graded as the USA constitution. It will reflect the value of continuities and change. There are three ways of the amendings the constitution of India. Some of it is a provision can be amended by the simple majority in the parliament and some by the special majority. Will some amendment require a special majority in the parliament and approval of state as well? There is a most important point here. And the next year, fundamental rights and duties. Fundamental rights and duties here. You must be familiar with the term fundamental right. Be quite often find it is a newspaper or well of watching television. The Constitution of India is included this right in a separate chapter which has often been referred to as the conscience of the Constitution. Fundamental right protect a citizen against the arbitrary and absolute exercise of power by the state. The constitution uh, grants the right to be invisible against the state as well as the against other individual. The constitution also grants the right of minorities ag against the majority. Besides this right, the constitution has a provision identify the fundamental duties through these are not uh, enforceable as the fundamental right are. Uh, these duties reflect some of the basic value embodied in uh, the constitution. There is an important point here, fundamental right and duties. The next point here, directive principle of state policy. There is a directly principle of state policy here. In addition to the fundamental right, there is a constitution also has a selection called to the directive principle of state policy. It is a a unique feature. It is a unique feature for the constitution. It is a aim at the ensure great social and economical reform and the serv servings as a guide to be a state to be instituted as a law and policy that help reduce the pro 
poverty of the masses and eliminate social discrimination. In fact, as you will study in the lesson, the Indians are welfare state. And this is a provision are directed to about to the establishment of welfare state. There's an important point here. The next year, integrated judici judicial system. There is the most important next point here. Integrated judicial system. Unlike the judicial system of readers, country like the United States of America, the Indian constitution has established on integrated judicial system. Through this, Supreme Court is at their national level, High Court at the state level, and subordinate court at the districts and the lower levels, and there is a single hearts of the court. At the top of the hearts is their Supreme Court. At this unified judicial system is aimed at the promoting and ensuring the justice to all the citizens in a uniform manner. Moreover, the constitutional provisions ensure the independence of Indian judiciary, which is free from the influence of the executive and the legislature. There is a most important regarding judicial system here. And the next point here, single citizenship. India constitution has a provision for single citizenship. Do you now what does it mean? There is single citizenship. What do you mean by here? It means there is a, every Indian is a citizen of India. Every means there is the Indians is a citizen of India. Respect there is a place of his here residence of birth in a country. And this unlike the United States of America, where is there a system of double citizenship? United States of America has the his rule is a follow here double citizenship. A person is a citizen of state and where he sees live as well as he is a citizen of USA. This provision of India is a constitution as defined it is done for there's a value of equality, unity, and integrity. This is important. The next year, universal adult franchisee. This value of equality of justice are reflected in there yet another silent feature of constitution. Every Indian after a trends are containing, there is at the present 18 year as a right to be vote. No discrimination can be made on the basis of the religious, race, caste, sex, descent, and place of birth or residence. This is important. Universal adult franchisee. And this right is known as the universal adult franchisee here. This is the most important here to end here. It represents 80 years has to right to the vote and no discrimination against your uh, religion, say, race, caste, sex, descent, and place of birth, residence, etc. This is more important here. Uh, universal adult franchisee here. Uh. And the next year, uh, federal system and parliamentary from a government. This is important. Another silent feature of the Indian constitution is that it is a provide for the federal system of state and parliamentary from a government. We shall discuss and this below in the detail. But it is a necessary to be a note here that is a federal system reflected there a constitutional value of unity and integrated of the nations. And more importantly, the value of decentralization of power. Decentralization of power. The parliamentary form of government reflect the value of responsibility and sovereignty decided in their people. The core principle of a parliamentary government is the responsibility of the executive to the legislature constituting of the representative of the people. There is a most important point here is a federal system and parliamentary form of government here.